What's good, YouTube? It's your boy P Money. First and foremost, general salute to CJ McCollum, one of my all time favorite Blazers of all time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> one of the best guards Portland has ever produced. You know what I'm saying? And hands down, definitely one of the best Blazers of all time. You, you, you can't deny it. There's no denying it. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's got the best three-point shooting percentage of all time in, the, in Blazers history. If not, he's damn close. He's either number one or number two. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm the type of fan that actually gives the players that have contributed dearly to this team, especially in these last five, nine years, getting us to the play or to the playoffs the most times you know what I mean the longest active streak of playoff appearances is the Portland Trailblazers now it's looking like that will come to an end this season possibly but it's not out of the realm of possibility that we still end up going to the playoffs you know what I mean um, especially with reports out that I'll get into later but I just have to give CJ his flowers man because He's definitely one of the best shooting guards in the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, his his game is beautiful to watch. You know what I'm saying? I know Blazers fans over the years would get mad. Even fans that weren't Blazers fans. You know what I'm saying? They were upset with his isolation basketball. But a lot of times, it the, the onus on offense fell on Damon CJ and we all know this you know what I'm saying and so that was a lot of the reason why we had to play in that way and then coach Stotts the way his offensive philosophy was everything goes through Dame or CJ you know so that's what we had to do that's that was the assignments you know um, and CJ only just took advantage of what the coaching staff at that time wanted. You know what I'm saying? Um, now we have a different coaching staff. We have a new front office. You know, we have a new. Obviously, we're about to build a new culture, you know, so. It's definitely sad to see him go as a fan, you know, but the Pelicans are getting a consummate professional, a easy 20 point scorer, an easy um, one of the best three point shooters on your team, excellent playmaker, you know what I'm saying? Um, and he's going to an excellent situation. So I have to give props to the front office, man. Like all parties involved, I think, got better. Now we won't get better possibly in this season but for in the long run we're going to be better you know what I'm saying um, I like what Joe Cronin and his staff are doing right now um, some Blazers fans might not have liked getting rid of the players that we did in the way that we did but it was all clear that we needed to get rid of those guys you know we needed to get rid of Norm we needed to get rid of CJ for Ant, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, Joe Cronin has come out and said that Ant is a core piece. So it's clear as day that he's going to be the number two coming out next year. You know what I'm saying? Up alongside Dane. That's going to be our backcourt, you know? That's going to be a nasty backcourt, man. It's going to be a very nasty backcourt. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would not be surprised if Ant is out there getting 20s. You know what I mean? Scoring 20s very consistently next year it's going to be a lot easier on him um so i'm definitely looking forward to that now in this trade the blazers send out cj mccullum larry nance jr and tony snell for josh hart Nikhil alexander walker um who's uh, Tom tomas sadaronski um dd lazunia a first round pick this year um that's Top fifth, uh, top four protected. If it's five to fourteen, it goes to us. If it's fifteen to thirty, it goes to the Pel or to the Hornets. But I don't think that'll happen. I think we're gonna have two first round draft picks this year, and we're gonna have 
an impact draft picky this coming off season. You know what I'm saying? So things are definitely looking up for the Blazers, man. Their cap space is insane. You know, um, they have they have a shot to be able to go out and get a guy that's going to be a match contract. You know. Like a DeAndre Ayton, like a Jalen Brown, like a John Collins, possibly, if they want him still. I don't know if they do or not. Um, a Miles Turner. I don't know if he's going, he's not going to get no max or nothing like that. But it's it's just more opportunities for the Blazers. They have young assets that teams covet, you know what I'm saying, to get better for the future, you know. Um, and it's also been reported that the Blazers are in talks right now with the, the Pistons to acquire Jeremy Grant as well. You know what I'm saying? Now, the parameters of that, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know if they're looking at possibly unloading Eric Bledsoe because we already saw that it was up in the air from him in his interview. You know what I'm saying? So that might be the guy. And then maybe on the kill Alexander Walker for a Jeremy Grant. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know the salaries match with that. Um, the Blazers would have to probably send a little bit more extra to the match make or you know help out the Pistons you know like Alexander Walker possibly uh, a Keon Johnson possibly uh, some maybe someone else I'm not sure how how the parameters of it look but it's basically saying that we're gonna get Jeremy Grant hopefully it's not we don't have to add a uh, draft pick so we can have two. But if we have to, you know, like hopefully they sweeten the pot a little bit and we get another guy that can help contribute as well, along with Jeremy Grant. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see how it goes. You know, like it's clear that the trade deadline for the Blazers is definitely not over. They're definitely going to make another blockbuster move on top of this one. Um, and I, I'm excited for the for the future for the Blazers, man. You know, definitely, like I said, sad to see my boy CJ go, man. One of my favorites of all time. But I've been saying it for a while now that it's, it's been time, you know, um, the last few years. Yes, we made the playoffs, but we were not really in contention like that. You know, like we would just get hot in the second half of the season like we always do. And. We just ran into the playoffs, you know, but teams that were better equipped would always do us in, you know, and I just feel like the direction that the team is going with Dame, of course, also in with in lockstep with both Joe Cronin and Coach Billups, you know what I'm saying? Um, they're going to build a winner, man, you know, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how it goes with this team because while this year is probably maybe we might still make playoffs it just really depends like if Dame does come back in March or whatever if Jeremy Grant ends up coming over and then playing or is he going to sit you know what I mean um, maybe they come back later on in the season once we know for sure that the season is lost you know so um, he's talking about I remember an interview with Coach Billups that they're looking at bringing Dane back mid-March. So maybe you bring him and Jeremy Grant back around that time. Let Jeremy Grant kind of nurse that thumb injury that he had. I know he's been back a few games, you know, but um, the Pistons are saying that he's been very good on the defensive end. And that's what we're looking for the most, you know, on top of him being a guy um, that can change the dynamic of the team, you know, on the offensive end. Because he's definitely not a guy that you can just leave open from three. You can't. Um, he's He's got a nice little mid-range game, you know. So, it's definitely looking like that's the move for the Blazers. And I'm with it, man. If Dame's with it, I'm with it. And that's what matters the most to me. Because if Dame is happy, that's what matters. And that's what should matter to all fans. If you're a Dame Lillard fan and a Blazers fan at the same time, you should be happy that this is what Dame is looking at. He's helping create a team to build around himself, you know what I mean? And Coach Billups and him are talking, I'm sure, quite often. So I'm with it, man. You know, it's not going to be some, like, I think a lot of fans are definitely used to 
the Neil O'Shea syndrome, you know, to where he's going to do something bad that they just automatically assume that we're going to do something bad, you know, and I just don't see that. There's just so many different more avenues now with the freed up cap room that we have to be able to get an impact player. So we have a three headed monster along with Nas and Ant and then maybe a Justice Winslow and Josh Hart stay on with the team, you know, so I'm just looking forward to seeing how this goes, man, because we got a lot to be, you know, excited about as Blazers fans. I'm very optimistic that this team, like I've been saying since the offseason, that they get another star to pair with Dame. And I think we're in the midst of that happening. But I don't have too much else on this one. This is your boy P Money. Tell me what you guys think. I'm off this.